Why do we race? That's the question that Forza 6's magnificently stupid opening video asks. And as much as I'm baffled by the brainlessness of said video, it did send my mind racing. I'm... I'm so sorry. But it does beg the question, why do I race? Specifically, why do I love racing games so much? I don't care about cars, I don't even have a driver's license. I'm actually kinda scared of those speeding death machines we call cars. Still, the question stands, why do I enjoy racing games so much? In theory, I shouldn't. You could subvert the question easily enough. I don't fetishize guns, and I don't care about killing people either. Although, that is what a murderer would say. Still, I play a whole lot of games that are about ending people's lives in psychotic ways. But violence is another question entirely, so I won't focus on that. Forza 6 is, or is supposed to be, a racing simulator. The series is well known for giving players a plethora of options to adapt the simulation to his or her capabilities. In essence, it's trying to make you feel like you drive a bunch of expensive cars that you'll never have enough money to buy, hence why it's addressed to car lovers first and foremost. But I'm still not one of those. If I had to guess, I would associate my love of racing games with my love of platforming games. If you distill both genres down to their basics, they're about using the game's physics engine, realistic or not, to navigate a course of obstacles. And while racing games lose the notion of verticality, they regain complexity with a ton of different variables, tire traction, drafting, brakes, inertia, etc. At their best, you, as a player, only react on reflex and instinct. You don't have time to think. For lack of a better word, it's the way playing feels. And the Forza series has always been at the top of the genre in the gameplay feel department. But it's been six games now, and the series is in need of a big change. The biggest addition in this installment of the franchise is its weather system. You can also race at night now, which obviously restricts visibility, but also influences traction. And did I mention you can race in the pouring rain now? It may seem like just a little thing, but it actually does change a lot of the game. Not only is the former really impressive looking, but it also forces you to rethink specific courses. Rain in Forza 6 is not just a simple modifier applied to your car traction. Your tires lose grip, and the track is also filled with puddles of water that you have to carefully drive through. And it's nearly impossible to explain how substantial that is. Rain simply changes the game's feel, with the entirely new physics that you have to deal with. Sadly, weather effects are track-specific, meaning that not all of the tracks have them. I can only imagine that that's the trade-off for them being so elaborately designed, but it does feel like the biggest addition of this Forza iteration is a little too rare. Another new aspect of the game, which comes in the form of modifications you can use on specific races, is much less successful. Being able to pass straight through other cars because of a modifier bonus seems like a cop-out. You're sidetracking the simulation and not engaging with its systems. And while you can completely ignore the modifications, it means you'll be at a disadvantage. Since Forza 6 is supposedly a simulation, these modifications seem out of place. It's not enough to destroy the experience, but it does taint it a little with arcadey concepts. The question the opening video asks is never answered within the game, almost as if Turn 10 weren't actually sure why their players race, which in a way is normal because racing games are enjoyed by so many different types of people whether it's a car aficionado or a challenge lover like me. That being said, Forza 6 obviously suffers from uncertainty. Six games in, the series is trying to establish where it's going to go in the future. And while additions like the weather system are more meaningful than one might expect, there's also a sense that the game is less interested in simulation than it was before. The core is still extremely well made, which ends up being Forza 6's saving grace. Still, instead of letting its big question go unanswered, there's an attempt to try and make Forza 6 appeal to all types of players, rather than ask the Forza fan, why do you race? If you bought a Forza game, it's probably because it represents one of the best accessible simulations on the market. As good as Forza 6 feels, there's extra stuff that shouldn't have been there. It's still one of the best racers out there, but that's largely because its predecessor was at the top of the crowd. Thanks for listening, you're all amazing. If you liked this critique, here are a few others you might enjoy. As always, we need your donations to stay afloat, and if you can't afford to donate, that is also completely fine, I get that, but please take the time to share this with somebody else, it makes all the difference. Keep talking about games, they're the best.